Hi and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to add uh, the stuff about our streaming or display to the RTP server. So let's first categorize our variables on top here. I'll first create a service section here and then a notification section. So you have to go here and you have to go here and then RTP section here. So for our service, we are going to add uh, a streaming state, which is going to be a type of mutable state flow of type Boolean. And the initial value is going to be mutable state flow of type false. And for our RTP section, I'm going to add two variables. And the main important thing here is going to be a display base of type display base of our uh, com.petro library, which is going to be null initially. And then uh, the connect checker, my connect checker, it's a callback for our uh, petro library. It's going to be object of connect checker like this. If I implement all of these methods here, going to uh, make my application dirty. So I'm going to create my own my connection checker. So my connection checker is going to be an open class and it's going to extend from connect checker of Petro library. I'm going to implement all the methods here. So I'll use whichever I want and inside my servers instead of using connect checker I'll simply use my own connect checker and add the constructor to it so I'll uh, simply override the on connection success and on disconnect and also on connection fail in this situation I'll create a coroutine block here dispatchers .ie. and then uh, using my streaming state I'll emit a new value to true and also here and here make them false okay so right now let's instantiate this display base and use this my connect my connect checker to uh, start the streaming process so down here I'll add a new function called prepare stream RTP and it's going to have an incoming URL of type string, then result code of type int and data of type intent, which is going to be screen capture intent. So down here, first we will store uh, the incoming URL inside our URL variable. If you remember, it's inside our companion object. So we will uh, use this whenever we restart our application or close or open the application again. So let's drop some codes here. We will check if the URL starts with uh, the prefix of RTMP. So it means that uh, we are streaming RTMP protocol. So we will instantiate display base like this, RTMP display. And for the context, we will pass base context and use OpenGL will simply set true and connect checker to it and also for the display base we will set intent results result code to it and data as the intent otherwise if it's not starting with RTMP we will use the same thing here but RTSP display and after that we use the display base to GL interface and set force renderer to true. And next function is going to be start stream. And in this function, we want to check if display base is not streaming. So it's not equal to true. Uh, we want to start the stream. But first we want to prepare our uh, video and audio to start. So Using display base, prepare video is equal to true, and also display base, prepare audio is also equal to true. 
we wanna start streaming using that URL. So there are some points here. If you want to add, uh, for example, some, uh, you know, width and height and FPS, some custom, uh, you know, settings to your uh, video streaming, uh, it's here. You can, for example, write 1080 and for the height, you can use like 840 and for the bitrate, you can use like 2 millions. You can see that uh, your video will be prepared like this. So you can uh, use your dimensions and other stuff for your uh, display settings here. You can also add the information or settings using this function to this prepare video. Also for your prepare audio, you can see there are some uh, settings that you can set here. And also if you don't want to, you know, for example, start streaming your audio, you can simply just remove this just like that. So for me, it's just basic settings that the whole uh, library is using. That works for me. And then also we wanna start a coroutine also uh, emit a true value to our streaming state. So we know that, hey, we decided to start the stream for the moment. And if something happens like a connection fails, it's making it false again. And then using on stop service, handle stop service, uh, we want to uh, use this display base and stop stream function. So let's move back to my main view model and inside here I'll have a view model section here and simply I want to create a streaming state here so whenever uh, the service is started I want to observe the service state or or the RTMP state here and also move this state to the uh, my main activity so it's going to be a mutable state flow of boolean and the value is going to be mutable state flow of false. So inside my unbind on service connected function, I want to, let's move this up here. I wanna create as a job here, private var service streaming state job of type job. And it's going to be null initial. So whenever the service is connected, I want to instantiate this job like this, my service streaming state and using on each block, uh, I want to get each state that is derived from the service state and make my streaming state, this streaming state, that value equal to that state. And also I want to launch it inside my view model scope. So Whenever this job started again, I want to check if service has the previous job. I want to cancel the previous one and start a new one. So that's how I handle the uh, state inside my RTMP service from this state. And whenever we connect or bounce to the uh, service using view model, you want to observe the current state of the streaming service. So right here, let's create two function for our main activity. The first one is start, which is going to get a URL from a text box and also a result of type activity result that you will see in a moment. You will check if result that data is not empty. Then we want to use my service object, prepare stream pass url result dot result code and it as the intent and also start stream and the next function is going to be stop stream which we will simply use my service to handle stop stream that uh, is going to be this function, which is private for now, I'll make it public so I can use it here, stop service. So let's go to our main activity. So right here, right after uh, we took all the permissions from the user that, hey, we can uh, record uh, the audio. It's time to actually launch a new re uh, request, 
which is going to be separate from the regular permission request and that is going to be called uh, screen capture request so let me create it well screen capture request it's going to be remember launcher results and the contract is going to be activity result contract and start activity for results and let's add the constructor to it and also for on results block i'll use the lambda expression and see there is a uh, activity result here which we will use main view model dot start and as the url we will uh, get this url using our text field which will be this url input type so i'll cut this and move this up here so i can access it here so url input text that value and for the result i'll simply pass it to it so we want to uh, launch this screen capture request right after we get all the permissions so let's use it here screen capture request dot launch you see we're going to need an intent for it so the intent for screen capture uh, will be up here i'll write a function private fun get screen capture intent it's going to return an intent first we need to get a media projection manager instant using application get system service and pass the context dot media projection service and cast it as media projection manager and simply just return media projection manager create screen capture intent simple as that and right here we will use that get screen capture intent so whenever uh, we get all the permission we want to launch or fire this screen capture request with the screen capture intent and then the result is going to be back inside this activity result so if the user accepts the start screen capture the result will be here and we will simply pass it to the uh, main view model like this and we'll start the process so let's run the application and check if it's start streaming so if i write my url here and add the name to the url for start you can see there is a, a intent requested for screen capture i'll simply press start now and check inside my streaming you can see that the stream is started and you can observe the display here in a moment yes the stream is working perfect but within a delay so we are good to go but we don't want our application when we for example start the stream we want to notify using that state here and whenever we close or open the application again you want to see the url is prepared here again and the state is on uh, stop here so the stream is uh, on and we want to see this button that has the stop value inside it so let's move to the application and fix them again so first of all up here we want to observe the streaming state here it's going to be view model main view model streaming state observe collect as state initial value is going to be false we know that so down here within this block we want to check if streaming state that value is false it means that we are not streaming at the moment we want to check for the permission and start the process again otherwise it is uh, streaming so we want to use via model and stop streaming function to stop the whole process and inside this text we want to check if streaming state that value is false uh, the value is going to be start otherwise the value is going to be stop we can run back again our application and add the url to it space it 
you can see when the stream starts button turns to stop and if we start the application again you can see the screen is on streaming state as well so if we press stop it the value is stopped here but there are two uh, important things here first when uh, we restart our application you can see the url is gone so we will go back to our url input type and make it to rtmp service the url so it restores back whenever we restart the application and one more thing is that this exit button is not working so it's because we didn't implement anything inside our uh, broadcast receiver here so using rtmp service and that companion object will simply pass stop service and pass uh, the context to it so we will wrap it with a let and also i want to uh, close the ui uh, using a new activity close activity it's going to extend from component activity inside on create method we simply want to finish affinity just like that let's add it to the uh, manifest below this activity just close activity simple as that and using this broadcast receiver i want to use it as the context start activity and pass a new intent to it it and close activity and also i'll add some flag to it using add flags and flag activity new task flag activity new task ported so let's run it again ah, let's paste my url here you can see the stream is started if we close the application and launch it back again you can see the url is here and stop button is here so if i press stop and press start again you'll see there is an error because we already uh, released the service so if we check the log here you will see that uh, to start screen capture you're going to need a foreground service of type media projection so it's because we uh, released our service so let's go to our start streaming function inside our uh, rtmp service and check uh, if is service running is false we want to handle start service again so let's check it if it's working correctly start it stop it start it again you can see everything is working perfect so that's it for this tutorial but before i finish this i have created a new ui for my uh, application so let me copy and paste it here i'll simply just replace with this one tmp screencast youtube theme and uh, the request launcher is going to be renamed as permission launcher also i'll add this youtube logo here and then for the context i want to use local context dot current and this one should be up here and simply pass context to it so if i launch back again my application it would have just a simple better ui for you yep that's it for this tutorial guys i hope it was helpful for you guys if you need any help any uh, mentorship anything let me know inside uh, this comment section below or you can uh, email me at kotvitkel at signgmail.com uh, make sure that you uh, share this a series with your friends and likes and comments and subscribe to my youtube channel that helps a lot the community and also thank you for your support so till the next series see you everyone